Mom, mm -hmm. guess what I got? A frog. Nice. So we're playing a game right now called The Quacks of Quedlinburg. I'm not playing, I'm moderating because I'm in lots of pain from kidney stones. But you make little potions. And it's not very exciting on night one because you don't have many potion ingredients. See so on night one, the little flame. But it gets more intense as the rounds go on. And mom doesn't have anything in her potion pot because she's filing her nails. You know what? They're they're so rough. I haven't had a chance to finish doing my dip powder nails. Show your nails. Ah, I just buffed them because they're <laughs> and they're so rough. They're catching on this little black bag really, really bad. So I had to quick buff them all. I'll finish them later. This is a game that Becca introduced me to, and then I convinced her to buy it, and now they both love it. Welcome to garage sale. Featuring Kylie on less than two hours of sleep. This time last year, I had a kidney infection and I got sunburned from sitting in the shade. This year, I don't have a kidney infection. I do have two really bad kidney stones. So you see the improvement. So it's like seven in the morning. We're gonna see how much stuff we can sell this week. Wish us luck. Look at our junk so far. Could just hide behind here. Here's our garage sale. How fun. Books, many books. We're selling a stripper pole, as you can see. Not the one from my bedroom. If you're a subscriber of mine, you get the joke. It's Sunday and we're packing up and guess what's descending upon us? Thunderstorms. Oh God. It's 11.56 p.m. No. Mom only just got home like 20 minutes ago because she had to take her cat to the emergency room. Well, there she is. She's like scared of Jasper. Do you want to tell them what happened? <laughs> we noticed that he was having labored breathing. And this may sound silly, but I remember from when you were little, when you had to worry if when a child had a bad cough, like whooping cough or croup, they would always tell you that like, if it gets to the point where your child is having trouble breathing and you're seeing their stomach go in and out, go to the emergency room, like that's bad. And like, basically like, that's what was happening with Jasper. Like, you could see like, every time he was breathing, he was like this big, <laughs> is that what it looked like? Am I doing it right? No. <laughs> you could like, his whole like, middle was like, you could just tell he was having labored breathing. Keep going. He's not eating his treats, he's not interested. He's like, I've been through enough. So, of course, I consulted Dr. Google, who had me convinced that he was going to suddenly just drop dead from a heart issue. He had heart failure or fluid on the lungs or something. I don't know. Everything said, if your cat's having trouble breathing, take him to hey, the emergency vet. Let me tell you, Snapchat prayed for you. Oh. <laughs> well, I felt peace and calmness. To an extent, <laughs> while I was in the waiting room. So, much appreciated. So, decided to take him to the emergency vet, which I knew was going to be super expensive, but it seemed like that was the right thing to do. Plus, I knew if I didn't, 
I would literally be up all night checking on him. So I went, and it took two and a half hours, which in the scheme of things is not that terrible. But he has kitty cat asthma. <laughs> So he's not dying. Not dying. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> but he's, you know what, he's like, to his breathing's totally back to normal now. And he's, he, and he he's heard lots of drugs <laughs> when I petted him, so he's like much better. So that definitely is working. His pupils are huge and he seems very tired though. I wonder if they gave him something I don't know about at the back. Like a tranquilizer? Ooh, I didn't think of that. Well, you know how he is with new people. You know, I didn't think about that. You know what? Like, they would have had, like... You know what? That's really interesting, because they had to take x-rays. Mm -hmm. Like, how in the world did, did they take x-rays? <laughs> yeah, maybe he had a little anesthesia or something. I don't know. Like, I'm sure some cats you might be able to, like, just put there and leave. Like, I feel pretty confident they might have been able to do that with Angel. Like, I agree. But not him. <laughs> <laughs> probably not, not him. most cats either. Correct. But yeah, they probably gained something. That's probably why his pupils are so big and why You're he's right. so like You're right. tired. Like yeah, he's better, but he's <laughs> droopy. Do you see him? <laughs> like he looks like he could just stare up in his face. Poor Jasper. He's tired. <laughs> I'm tired. It was too. a long day for you him. You know, I stinking mowed the lawn today. <laughs> was out doing yard work. Come in, eat dinner. I didn't even get to take a shower. I just threw on a clean shirt. Okay, think about how hard his day was. Because apparently, Dad said he noticed his breathing was like mm. bad this morning. So your cat hasn't been able to breathe good all day. I know. I Possibly feel bad about even that. before that. Like I we know. don't know when it started. I know. I feel bad about that. Not dying. Not dying. Just asthma. Just asthma. Look how freaking beautiful my little breads that I made. And look at my cat mitts. Nice. Look at that. That's freaking amazing. They did good this time. This is my friend, Toadie. He's a toad. Show that. Oh, oh yeah, nice. Yeah. Got some nice stuff in the Nice. But look at this. Ooh. Well, don't look at the beer. I mean, all right, so we have beer and water. Okay, fine. I think there's probably more beer than water in there. This is what happens when dad cleans the fridge. <laughs> there's more beer than water. <laughs> Oh, you want to look at me? Someone remembers. Yeah, actually she's probably really hungry because she didn't want to eat her dinner, so I'll give her a little something. Oh. <laughs> what the heck? Lift the thing up, lift the thing up. Yeah, that. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs> nice, huh? You like that? But I did the entire refrigerator. I appreciate <laughs> that. So I'm just saying. You know. Oh, nice slippers, Kylie. Thanks, my Since you didn't bring any. You know what? It's supposed to be freaking 90 degrees, except for tonight. It's like ice cold. We're in the Adirondacks, you know. I know. Hey, it's us. <laughs> so, I didn't say this yesterday, but if you've been a subscriber of mine for like since last summer, you would know where I am right now. I'm up at my cabin. So, if you're not a previous subscriber and you're new. I have a cabin in the Adirondacks and that's where I spend my summers. So we just went grocery shopping, look at all our stuff. <laughs> so this summer my friend Christine is going to be working at a camp that is across the lake that my cabin's on. So we're gonna go drive by it and like just go look at it and be like, oh fun. <laughs> I have to remember how to go that way. <laughs> so that's what's up and probably put our boat in the water today it's like really hot so I might go in the water in a 
it's only 70. It's not really hot yet, but it's about to be hot. you can like feel it coming. Like it's. I could smell the hotness coming oh, geez, when I, I walked outside today. Welcome to my summer vlogs. <laughs> Cause now that's what's happening. Now we're we're in summer mode. I'm not like up here, up here for like the summer yet. Cause I'll still be home next week, but then I'll be up, up for like the summer. So get ready for summer vlogs. Featuring my friend Christine. <laughs> so it's gonna be like a funner summer than normal summers. Cause I'll have someone to like hang out with and do things with. And I'm sure Becca, well hopefully Becca can come to visit at some point. Yeah, too. Becca was like, let me know when you know. And and even Sumaya might yeah, try to make it Yeah, my up friend here. Sumaya might come up here at some point. So, yay. How freaking exciting. Ooh, all their boats are sleeping. So exciting. Show her the beach. That's where you'll probably be picking her up. Oh, in the so exciting. Ooh, there's like people down there like getting stuff like ready and stuff. How exciting! I could literally come here and pick her up in my boat! <laughs> ah! Ready? Oh my gosh. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna have to man the on later. There's these two rocks way out there and like right up there. That's focusing on my finger, but right there. One time I swam all the way from those rocks into our beach. Is the water cold? Uh, yeah, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Freezing. Would you go swimming in it? I would go for a dunk, certainly. <laughs> Like tomorrow, when if it gets really hot. Yeah. You know. I don't want to. Touch it. I don't want to. Mom. Don't you want to know for tomorrow? It's pretty cold. Would you go swimming in it? I guess if I were hot enough, I would. Do you think you're gonna go in tomorrow? No. <laughs> <laughs> but you never know with me. So, you, you might get too hot too quick and just be I dying. Know. Once I get into the red zone, forget it. <laughs> Don't know what might happen. So for reference, Christine's camp is like just around the corner there. That's where she'll be. Thank you, appreciate that. <laughs> okay. 
Now that we've covered that, can you push me? <laughs> like you mean it. All right, back up a little bit further. What? Back the truck up a little bit further. I think I'm really close to right. pushing you. Just my pants are going in, <laughs> and my feet are being sucked <laughs> in under the sand. Just give me a sec. Like, can you can you see down here? There's like a bajillion, gajillion, mazillion. I don't know. Are they? Oh, tadpoles? are they tadpoles? Yeah. I don't have. Nice. I don't remember there being this many like this. Do you? Okay. Yeah, there were a bunch last year. There's so many of them. Look how many? Crazy. There's like a heat warning for tomorrow and it's supposed to be like 90 degrees or something. So we might end up going in the lake, even though it's like only May. <laughs> Let's see if there's any frogs. Oh my gosh, ducks. Look at all the ducks. They're so cute. You better not be eating the tadpoles. Don't eat my tadpoles. That's mean. Like, absolutely not. Go somewhere else. Go eat somebody else's tadpoles. Okay. Didn't find frogs yet, but look how many more there are. There's so many. That's crazy. There's so many. Okay, I found a frog. See his frog head. I'm gonna try to catch one of them. First try, caught a frogo. How cute he is. He was not expecting me to catch him. <laughs> He's trying to kick me. Ah! Stop, stop, stop. I can't do this while filming at the same time. <laughs> oh, oh, he's so slippery. He's so cute. Look, I found an even bigger one. He's way too big to catch. He's probably like the size of my hand. But he's a big one. I think like literally every year I come and catch a frog and then like vlog about it. Mom, guess what I got? A frog. Nice. Oh, that's a bigger one. Cute. Look at this nice little hand. I have named him Frogo. And his webby feet. Look at his little dangly legs. That's cute. His little frog legs. <laughs> oh, he's so cute. He's like, bye. This is the camp Christine's gonna be at. So this is where I'll be picking her up kayaked out here oh my goodness I have probably been out here for like an hour paddling for my life because it was so windy so enjoy the view because it took me an hour to get here <laughs> going against the wind got my snazzy backpack and I think I'm getting like a blister on this finger right here from paddling neon yellow paddles so now I'm gonna try to make it all the way back to my beach which is all the way over there this is danger thin ice not anymore they're making sure I don't sink and die but apparently they're actually trying to sink me 
this right here. This is an island and there's a house on the island. I don't know how they built a house on an island like that. This isn't like a big lake where you can just have giant boats with like building materials, but house on an island. It's kind of hard to tell, but these people have a pirate flag. I think I got sunburned because my cheeks are like really pink. Anyways, so that's the end of my vlog for now. I just feel like this is a good place to end it because like there's been like a lot of stuff going on, like lots of random stuff. So thank you guys for watching. I'll eventually do like a room tour, but my room is definitely not like done and organized and stuff yet. But I will do a cabin room tour when it's done and I'll do more like vlogs. Let me know what you want to see. Leave me a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Comment down below what you want to see. Hit the subscribe button, turn my post notifications, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Okay, one last thing. He is staring at me like he is so worried about me. And I just took meds for my kidney stones because one of them is making my kidney feel like it's going to like explode. But he looks so worried and he's just sitting here looking at me all worried. Like, yeah, I'm worried too, but there's nothing I can do.